The impact of COVID-19 on cancer services has been very variable across the time course. So we had a really uh, sort of conservative and pragmatic approach to um, managing patients with cancer at the beginning of the, of the COVID-19 pandemic. We were very worried put, about putting them at extreme risk of, of uh, death from, from COVID-19. And so we had a, a very, very pragmatic and understandable approach, which meant we actually reduced down treatment quite, quite a lot for, for a number of patients. I think the amazing thing was about the oncology community is that we um, really actioned that really quickly. There were quite a few um, uh, studies and trials that came out really, really fast um, across the UK, particularly something called the UK CCMP, to try and understand what COVID-19 impact was with our cancer patients and also whether being on active treatment was a, was a factor in terms of their outcomes. So I think as those, that data has become more available and we've understood the impact and actually that we can continue to treat patients uh, and that being on active cancer treatment, as long as we're sensible about it and we optimise patients in terms of their opportunity to have vaccination and things, that actually we can carry on treating. So I think we're now very much in a recovery phase. We've got a, a, a lot of patients that need treatment, but I think by using that sort of network around the UK, we've actually managed to answer some questions in real time that meant that we could have more confidence in using active uh, systemic therapies and, and actually manage patients effectively. So now we've just got to continue pushing in and get through recovery so that we can treat as many patients as need treating.